Berk. Berk, sometimes referred to as berk sermer literally berk on sea, is a commune in the northern French department of Pas de Calais. It lies within the Marconcho Regional Park and Ornithological Nature Reserve. Geography. Situated just to the north of the estuary of the River Othi, Berk has a huge expanse of sandy beach and impressive grassy top dunes facing more than to the English Channel. The town comprises two parts to the east, the old fishing town of Berkville and to the west the seaside area, berk sermer Toponymy. Berk is attested through the centuries in various forms, Dayton Berk is in Berk in 1215, Bacon 1282. Its origin has been conjectured to come either from Germanic Berg Hill, Mount or Berkshire Place of the Birch Trees, designating the Birch Tree Wood nearby. The modern Dutch word for Birch is Berk. In Dutch the name is Berkonzi. History The old town was formerly a fishing harbour which in 1301 was recorded to have 150 homesteads with 800 inhabitants. A medieval wooden lighthouse, known locally as a fire, was built on a dune and lit by charcoal and faggots, but this burned down several times. On one occasion, at least, it was as a result of the continuous conflict between the English and the French in the Hundred Years' War. The chronicler in Gain de Montstrelet mentions that during 1414 the English garrison in Calais raided south and burned the town. Eventually, the lighthouse was replaced by a stone tower at the side of which a chapel was built in the 15th century, but this did not save it from further mishap. During the Second Siege of Montreal in 1544, the English advanced from the south and burned 200 houses, the church and the mill as they passed through Beck. What was left of the place was then burned by the French on their way to relieve the siege. The chapel was later extended to join the tower, making what is now the Church of St Jean Baptiste, but the tower was only converted to a belfry after the sea retired, leaving it 1.5 kilometres inland. It is for this reason that the present division between the original village and the seafront area exists. As a result, boats were then designed with flat bottoms so that they could be drawn up on the beach and the court was driven out to them in order to bring in the catch C. Eugene Boudin's painting below. In the mid-19th century, Berk took on a therapeutic role in the treatment of tuberculosis. The Maritime Hospital was inaugurated in 1869 by Empress Eugenie. Other hospitals and benevolent institutes were soon created to cater for the sick and those in need of rest and recuperation. It was at this time that the medical benefits of sea bathing were being recommended and the town, advertised as just a three-hour journey from Paris, began to build up its tourist trade with the help of the railways. A first one had to alight at the nearby town of Verton on the main line to Calais, but in 1893 a branch line was built connecting it with other towns in the region. As well as carrying passengers, there was also goods traffic from the brickworks at Berkville. Known locally as a tortilla for its wandering route, it was closed in 1955. There was a later narrow gauge line running northwards through the dunes from Berk Plage to Paris Plage as the Turkey was then known. It was built in stages by Emma Elamont between 1909 and 1912 but gradually sanded over and closed in 1929. Val Berk Post, JPG Railway Advertising File, Train of Berk Plage, when JPG The Beach Station 1911 File, Convoy and Gare de Merlemont Lean Berk La Turkey. JPG Merlemont Dune Station. During World War Roman II, the seafront was disrupted by the installation of the Nazi Atlantic Wall and the town suffered from bombing during the Allied invasion in 1944. This contributed to the diminishing of the ancient fishing industry, which numbered some 150 boats at the turn of the century and had all but disappeared by the 1960s. Today, although the hospital sector remains economically important, the town has again promoted itself as a tourist attraction. A seaside bathing station with an immense beach of fine sand on the Opal coast, it continues to be a centre for sand yachting and the new sport of surfboarding. The former Burke Play Railway Station has been converted into a casino. In 1974 the town trained with Bad Honneth in Germany and in 1981 with Hythe in England. Buildings The Church of St Jean Baptiste was restored in 1954 and the 15th century carvings on its corbels were then highlighted in paint. The choir and belfry are now listed monuments. The new church of Notre Dame des Sables was opened in 1886 in the marketplace of the Beach Quarter. Its seating for 1500 was to cater principally for holiday makers and season and the patients from the many medical establishments profiting from the sea air. There are paintings on the choir walls. Beside its medical establishments, the Beach Quarter catered to the moneyed classes in the second half of the 19th century and slowly filled with grandiose villas, hotels and amenities. Among these were handsome casinos, of which the principal was the Eden, also known as the Grand Casino de la Plage, with its theatre and music hall. This was destroyed in 1944, but is survived by its equally gorgeous rival, the Kersal. The ambitious cottage Destunes, which tried to unite a luxury hotel and casino, failed commercially in 1913. After a brief spell as a hospital, it entered into official use. 
Another official building that survived a bombing was the Town Hall, which was built in 1893 and has murals painted by John Leotzari. After the stone tower of St John the Baptist fell into disuse as a lighthouse, it was replaced at first by a primitive oil lamp suspended in the dunes to mark the sandbows at the river mouth. Two years later, a 10-metre tower was mounted above a keeper's cottage, but this became asked when a maritime hospital was built in 1861 and a new taller tower was constructed in 1868. The two buildings, referred to locally as Father and Son Lapier Eightfields, stood next to each other until they were dynamited by the Germans in 1944. The current concrete lighthouse, designed by Georges Turi, was completed in 1951 and is 45 metres high. Its light can be seen from a distance of 24 nmi. Image Burk L.A. lies St. Jean Baptiste. JPG Church of St. John the Baptist, Fowl Burke House, JPG Percent 7C, the Town Hall in 1900, Image Casino de Burke, JPG the Station Casino, Image Burke Architecture. JPG Architecture. File Burke Lifeboat, JPG the Lifeboat in front of Holiday Shell is about 1900 image book, JPG Institute Calot. Aeronautical Experiments The steady sea breezes and the uprough created by the neighbouring dunes once made the town the centre of a number of aeronautical experiments. These began in the final decades of the 19th century with early trials of photography from a man kites. Among the first working locally was the English meteorologist D.D. Archibald in 1887. He was followed the next year by Arthur Bassett and Durer in 1889-91 by Emil Wentz. The experiments continued until 1914 and some of the photos found commercial use on postcards. The town has had an aerodrome since 1917. This was in part because at the start of the 20th century the area played its part in the race to take to the air. The artist Jan Lazari, who had originally studied engineering, tested a double Latin sail hand glider from the Merlemont sand dunes of February 1904. He was followed there at Easter by Gabriel Verson, who made a trial flight in a glider play modelled on that of the Wright brothers and over a few seconds was airborne for 50 metres. His one-time partner Lee Blair never experimented with flight at Beck, but he did develop and test the San Yoth L outputs there in 1911 and pioneered the first race over the sands in 1913. Since 1966, a six year endurance race has been hosted by the local eel club. And since 1986, there has been an annual kite flying festival each April on the sands, attracting international exhibits of great beauty and inventiveness. Population The inhabitants are called Berkwa. Over the past two centuries, there has been a steady growth in the population of the town, which in the 1793 census was 983, only a little more than 800 recorded in 1301. In 1851 this had doubled to 2216 and after the commercial development during the second half of that century had climbed to 7,799 by 1901. It more than doubled again by 1936, 16,700 but fell to 11,529 by 1946 and as of 2017 stands to 14,189. Image Break Station Banlier JPG Burke a seafront file aeroplage 1930 ministry JPG percent 78 sand yacht on the beach in 1913 image Burke la plage JPG the sand image Burke less dunes JPG the dunes the Burke school of painters painters joined the 19th century Persian visitors to the town and passed on news of their discovery to fellow artists in the capital one of the most notable was Edward Manet who passed the summer there with his family in 1873. Among the 20 paintings he made were depictions of boats at sea and the beach scape now in the Musée d'Orsay. Eugene Beden first visited in 1874 and over the next 20 years made Burke the subject of some 120 paintings. He was followed in 1876 by Ludovic Napoli in Lepic, who was so taken with the place that he set up a studio there and until 1885 devoted some six months of the year to recording me and the fisherman's life. Following in their footsteps came the sons of local families who, until about 1914, constituted what has been called the Burke School. These included Francis Tattergrain, who was encouraged to take up art by Lepic, John Lozari, son of the town architect, who was also a friend of Lepic, Charles Rousel, 1861-1936, who settled in the town in 1886, and Eugene Tregel, 1864-1910. After World War I, the town and its inhabitants continued to be represented artistically by Rousel and by Louis Montagu 1905-1988. Fishermen and interiors were a specialty of the latter. A collection of these and other Opal Coast painters was opened in 1979 in the Municipal Museum sited in Burke's Old Gendarmerie, which was built at the end of the 19th century by Emil Azari. Burke and the Arts Val Manet Swallows, J.P.G. Edward Manet, The Swallows, Burke Meadows 1873 E.G. Buhal Collection, Zurich File, LPDBA, Lepic, Plage de Burke. Chippy G. Ludovic Napoli and Lepic, The Beach at Burke. 
1876, Palais des Beaux Arts de l'Elfile Francis Tatagre minus 1870 Lodge minus 130 2 minus 1600 Xura JPG Francis Tatagre Fishing Boats off Burke. 1878, Musée de Brooks, Sir Merfile, Bood in the Fish Cart, JPG Eugene Bood in the Fish Cart. 1880, Fitz William Museum, Cambridge File, Burke Larons, JPG Jean Larons, Burke Farshaw. 1904, Musée de Sir Solins, Mackenfile, Sour Colgrave, Back Garden, Burke, JPG Percent 7, C. Patty Townsend, Johnson, Burke, Back Garden. Wasp Collar, 1904, File, Ewell Burke, JPG Marie Joseph Ewell, The Flooded Road to Burke. 1909, Musée Despo Art, Rowan File, Rice of Dunes on the Outskirts of Burke, JPG Percent 7C, Charles Rice of Dune on the Outskirts of Burke. All on Wood, 1920. Among minor artists who have made Burke a subject in their work are Paul Olga, 1853, 1937, Eugene Shigard, 1860, 1923, who had a studio there in 1893, and George's Maronese, a judge who painted and photographed an area during holidays. Two others stayed in a town because of its medical facilities. Albert Visnard was there in 1895 on account of his tubercular son. As a thanks offering for his cure, Visnard and his wife Charlotte decorated the walls of the chapel in the Cousin Perishaw Institute between the years 1898 and 1901. While he was there, he also executed oil paintings and etchings. Jean Lowndes, the above, was also there in 1904 for the same reason and painted several canvases during his stay. Time figures unfavourably in the long poem book played by Sylvia Plath. She had visited it in 1961 and wrote the poem a year late, mixing their memories of maimed war veterans at the Burke Hospital with impressions of the recent death and funeral of a neighbour. In Jean Paul Sort as the Circe's the reprieve, the character of Charles is evacuated from the military hospital at Burke just before the outbreak of the Second World War. The town also figured in the novel Union Year Burke by Christian Mould de Sarkis Paris, 1997. Language the language originally spoken by the inhabitants was Picard, from which originated several expressions used by fishermen. Although it is now retreated before standard French, there are still those who seek to preserve it. Burke has a language association, T and Sivian too. And there have been linguistic studies of the local dialect. These include the poet Edward Grandel's Lexique du Pat Wabakwa Université de Picard et Amiens, 1980, Lucien Tate's Corset du Parle de Burke, Société de Linguistique Picard, 1981, and his Alay Cut, Thess Burke, or Thickton's Et Proverbs, Sobaquet, Société de Linguistique Picard, 1988. The Picard dialect, poet Evossier Chava, was born in the town in 1951, and though he now lives in Amiens, is often written about it, most notably in Burke on Poem, published in 1997. Personalities Annette Messager, conceptual artist. Jean Dominique Bobby, author of the French bestseller Le Scaffender et le Papillon, which was also filmed in the town.